So this is a uh, another difficult dock. Now this is a uh, the Costco in um, Azusa, I do believe it's pronounced A Z U S A. Uh, never actually heard it being said out loud, so um, I might be butchering that. But whatever. Now I want to kind of go over this. Now this is basically a blind side. Now sometimes it could be an easy one. Let's say if you're going to this dock right here, it's not so bad. It's a slight little blind side. You don't really you don't have any wall to worry about. But then sometimes you've got to back up into these ones over here, and then there could be a truck. But either way, it's going to be basically, depending on the dock, it's always going to be a blind side, and we're going to use this area over there. So, uh, yes, let's go ahead and uh, show you how I would do it, and have done, because I've, done, I've backed up into this dock many, many times down here. All right, let's do this. So I'm going to do two backs here. I have made it one easy one. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Kind of show you what's going on here. Uh, so I'm going to back up into this one. This is going to be a nicer, nice, easier blind side. And then we're going to back up into one over here where there's a truck parked. And we're going to back around that. Now I have the, the blind spots turned on because this is a blind side back. So let's make it a little, somewhat realistic for you guys. All right. Now, my goal is to get my, tra my truck and trailer as much as over here as possible. And then cut in, and allow allowing my trailer to get nice and close to this area. Because I want, you'll see in a second... So I'm going to hang out over here and uh, just stay close to everything on the left. And in a second, I'm going to... Now, one thing you're going to have to pay attention to inside in this one of these mirrors. Now, I have blocked it off here, but uh, you're going to be looking for this trailer, making sure you're not going to be hitting it when I start turning roughly around now. So I'm just bringing it all the way over because that way my trailer will already be in this area when I do set up over here. All right, so I'm going to keep turning, keep turning and missing in this truck right here, but just a little bit. All right, very good. All right. Now, ideally, I would prefer if I was if I brought it over here a little bit more. So I should have been closer to the wall before I got there. But anyway, whatever. Um, so let's miss this wall here. Now this is again. This is not so bad. This particular. Am I going to hit that? Hold on. Let me just reverse for a second. There we go. This won't be so bad. I'll be able to keep an eye on the trailer for most of the back. All right. Let's go off to the right. Okay. Uh, I'm liking this. Okay. Uh, it's it's okay. It's okay. I could have had a better setup. All right. Let's go get those steers somewhat straight. Eh, maybe around. here. Here, yeah. Okay, yeah. We're just going to finesse it a little bit. Now, the angle I'm at, I mean, I, I will end up losing it. So I'm not going to start cranking my steering wheel to the left. Now, basic one, I'm going to bring my truck to the left. Sorry, my trailer to the left, the front of it. Uh, roughly around now. Okay, that should do me. Keeping an eye. Now I am going to lose it. So this is the scary part. All right, so roughly around here, guess what? You got to get out and look. All right, uh, depending on the angle that we have here, I do believe the trailer is going to start turning in. I'm going to keep the jackknife going, though. All right, uh, leave it. Yeah, right now the steers are pointing straight, so I'm going to leave that. Uh, okay, let's just ch check again. It's pretty much in the same, I I've got the same distance. All right, so I'm just going to maintain that st my steers pointing straight. It's going to bring it in. And now we're going to start chasing it. Okay, now I'm still a little scared, so let's go ahead and take a look. Oh yeah, everything's looking great. Absolutely great. So basically, once the trailer gets to like around this angle, I'll do my pull forward. I'm not going to wait for my trailer to be parallel. All right, back into the truck. Let's start chasing it. Now, you can probably see in your smaller mirrors that you my, my trailer is pointing towards here. But uh, let's take a look. So in order to straighten up, we're going to turn the string wheel all the way to the left so we can shorten up in the shortest distance. All right, there we go. So now we can just back in nicely. Try to get ourselves nice and center in between those lines. All right, and now we go check in. Oh, we've already checked in. Anyway, all right, let's do the other one. We're going to back up into this space, or this space right now. So this time I'm going to get a little more closer because I want to uh, be able to cut that trailer in earlier. So the further you are away from it, the sooner I can turn in. Like I don't have to wait for my axles to get to here or anything, you know? All right, this is going to be a lot more tougher. I actually haven't tried this one. 
Okay. Definitely going to be getting a lot of getting out and looking here in this one. A lot of getting out and looking. All right. Let's miss this guy. Oh, I'm going way too fast. Sorry. A lot more control when you're slowed down. We're going to use a lot more area over here as well, I believe. So I'm going to keep hugging it. Yeah, missing it with the swing of the trailer. There we go. And so, okay, I'm just going to stop for a second. All right, so I, I definitely need to do more of a pull forward, and I'm going to go off to the right because the reason I'm stopped here because this is where you actually get to you get to see the most without having to get out and look. All right, so I'm going to pull forward again to the right. I'm going to keep going using every inch. Okay, now I don't want to do too much because of uh, I'll end up the truck will end up over here in the wall. Let's get out for a second. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to try and maintain this angle right here. All right, so I'm going to turn the steering wheel slightly to the right. All right, so it's not a chase. Oops, it is. There we go. That that allows me to kind of keep an eye on what's going on over here. All right. So, okay, I'm going to try. I need to get on and look. Okay, it's looking good. Uh, I think I need to do a hard jackknife. But not too hard. And then chase it. All right, <laughs> just like every blind side, you got to get out and look. Ooh, ooh, uh, not liking that. Not liking that at all. I'm, I'm too far away from this guy. But I do believe it's, it is turning in. Let's take a look. Maybe I need to jackknife again. And let's stop. Yes, okay, I can get away with that now because it's, it's actually the back of the trailer is, is going to go in this way. But I might screw myself on the pull forward though. And just to double check again. Yes, missing it. All right, so I'm going to keep, oops, I'm going to keep chasing it. Oh, all right, now I got to do some pull forwards. Yes, all right, and then back it up. Again, looking good. Looking good, I'm liking it. Yeah, maybe I got to do a pull forward again. I'm sorry, just a little, little bit. And then straighten up. Okay, there we go. All right, so it's definitely possible, very difficult at the same time. And again, you have to get out and look. Uh, I have backed up into these docks many times and I get out and look every time. Unless it's like this dock over here. And, all right, but generally speaking, I do get out and look because I ain't gambling with my job. If I'm ever unsure, I do get out and look. All right, cool. Anyway, that's it for this video.